Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I uh, want to just briefly tell you, I'm sometimes asked, how come you're a Muslim? And I tell them, well, God showed me that I'm a Muslim. For the first 35 years of my life, I was a disbeliever. I knew there is no God, I didn't see any need for God, and I didn't believe in God. السلام عليكم بدأ بتحية الإسلام وبدأ يسرد قصته في أتناقل الإسلام لقد مر عليه 35 عاما من حياته لم يكن مسلما ولم يكن مؤمنا بالمرة But ever since I was small I was interested in science and as my knowledge of science grew 25 years ago in basically a flash I came to the conclusion that the universe is so perfectly made and everything so perfectly matches together that there must be God. So in one second I went from certainty there is no God to certainty there must be God and only one God. يقول أنه كان مهتما دائما بالعلم وكان يرى إحسان الصنع في هذا العالم وكيف يسير وكان يقول لنفسه لابد أن هناك إلها يحكم تسير هذا العالم من اهتمامه بالعلم. So I accepted there is God. I said أشهد ولا إله إلا الله. وبذلك أدرك أن هناك إلها وشهد الشهادة. But I was not looking for a religion. I thought all religions are wrong. Christians say this is one. The Jews said, Jews are chosen people, and if you're not Jew, you're not, not, not chosen. And about Islam, I only had negative information. ولكنه أدرك أن هناك إلى أن هناك إلها ولكنه لم يكن يعرف شيئا عن الإسلام حتى ذلك الوقت. But I didn't want to stay ignorant about religions, so I said, okay, I, I read Bible, and I saw in the Bible there are places which you know come from God, you feel it in your heart, but you see there are places which come from man, because this page says something that is opposite to the. Uh, thing that was said few pages ago. So I knew that Bible was written by men many years after the prophets. And I bought a Quran, English translation of the Quran, and when I started reading it, I started reading it with the same idea that just like Bible, it was written by man, only in this case we know the name of the man, Muhammad. Muhammad. And then when I was maybe about one third in Quran, I remember telling my wife, you know, this Muhammad, he must have been a very smart, very intelligent man because this book is very clear, very logical, very easy to follow and there are no contradictions. <laughs> في ذات المرات كان يقرأ وقال لزوجته لابد أن محمدا كان ذكيا للغاية فهذا الكتاب الذي جاء به سهل تماما ومنطقي في تسلسله وترتيبه ولا يجد الإنسان أي صعوبة في التعامل معه But then as I read later I suddenly saw a scientific fact which I knew was only discovered in the 20th century ولكنه اثناء قراءته لفت نظره آية تتكلم عن حاجة علمية، شيء علمي عفوا، لم يكتشف إلا في هذا القرن العشرين. So immediately I saw that Muhammad is not the author of the Quran. That Muhammad is a messenger sent by God 
to give the Quran to mankind. So, so, I saw, mashallah, Muhammad is Rasulullah. And so, I said, mashallah, I'm a Muslim. And, and people ask me, well, how did you react? You said you heard bad things about Muslims, you didn't know anything about Islam. How did you react? Did you want to be Muslim? And I said, I had no choice. Because when I was born, I was a baby. I didn't know I'm different from my mother. Then a little bit later, I knew my mother is somebody else, and when she's gone, I cry because I was afraid she's gone. But I still didn't know what I am. And then one day, I suddenly start, Mashallah, I'm a boy. And nobody asked me, what, what did you do? Did you want to be a boy? No, because we know we don't have a choice. God makes us this. So, mashallah, when that was the greatest blessing on my wife, uh, of my life. I have wonderful family, I have wonderful children, wife, everything. But the greatest blessing was that God showed me his guidance. And when I pray, I make dua, God, please let me die as a believer. Let me never disbelieve again. لم يكن له خيار إلا أن يكون مسلما فكما قال أنه ولد طفلا ونما وكبر وأدرك أنه ولد ولم يكن له في ذلك خيار ولكنه وجد أن لا خيار له سوى الإسلام وبذلك أصبح مسلما وهو دائما يصلي ويدعو يدعو الله ألا يتركه يموت على ملة غير الإسلام بعد أن اختار إليها And a little while ago, I heard somebody here who was concerned that maybe the signs that are discovered in the Quran may be wrong. Uh, we should have a committee to see if the signs are right. God says in the Quran, we demonstrate our miracles to those who attain certainty. يقول سمع من يقول أنه ربما الآيات العلمية أو ما يكتشف من علوم استنادا إلى القرآن قد تأتي الأيام باختلافها أو يثبت خلافها فيما بعد ولكنه يقول أن هناك آية في القرآن ومعنى ما قاله معذرة لا أحفظ القرآن كاملا ولكنه يقول أن آيات الله موجودة هذا المعنى عفوا آيات الله موجودة لمن يريد أن يتحقق فالكتاب به كل شيء so my, my answer is so, so my answer is, when you have strong iman and you have knowledge of the scientific facts, when you see it in the Quran, you don't have to worry, is it right or is it wrong? It will jump out at you, it will hit you. And you will say, mashallah, this is a sign from God. And you want to make such da because you feel very humble. Because you know this is the truth. There is no false science, no wrong science, because this book is from God and He doesn't make any mistakes. حينما نتعرف على حقيقة علمية ونجد لها ذكرا في القرآن ربما كانت خافية عنا وفجأة تفجأك بوضوحها وحينئذ تدرك أن هذا الكلام الموجود في القرآن من المستحيل أن يأتي ما يتعرض معه لأنه علم صادر عن العليم. In closing, I would like to thank the organizers for making this conference possible. I think conferences like this are extremely useful. But I would like to appeal to the organizers that they do not make these conferences only in the Middle East. 
I think conferences like this should be made in London, in Frankfurt, in Paris.